If I were to ask you what is one thing you know about Bolivia, what would you say? Type your answer in the comments below. What's up everybody, I'm Ollie, and if you're new here, then you might not know that I lived in the very underrated Bolivia in 2019 and 2020. Before moving there, I had no idea about the country. What language was spoken, was it safe, who the president was, absolutamente nada. All I knew is that it was very close to my dream country, Brazil, in South America. Truth is, Bolivia is quite an unknown country for a lot of us, and it is often less visited by tourists in comparison to its larger neighbours like Argentina or Brazil. For example, in 2019, Bolivia had 1.48 million visitors compared to its neighbour Argentina, who had over 5.3 million that same year. But I'm telling you that you must visit Bolivia. Bolivia offers incredible rewards to travellers. Its diverse range of landscapes are mind-blowing, from the Andes to the Amazon, and the country is packed with ancient landmarks, from the birthplace of the Inca dynasty to one of the cradles of the Andean civilization. You will discover a population who, despite what you might hear, are friendly and welcoming. And most importantly, travellers who go the extra mile will discover how hospitable Bolivians really are. By the end of this video, you're going to feel the urge to pencil Bolivia into your bucket list as a must-see in the next five years. Trust me. And as always, today's video is sponsored by you hitting the like button to help me even more consider subscribing and hitting the bell down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you like this video, then I have a playlist where I filmed videos out on the streets in Bolivia. Uh, you can click up here or I'll link it down below. Introducing Bolivia, a brief introduction with 15 crazy facts. Bolivia is a landlocked country located in Western Central South America. It is named after Simon Bolivar, who was the Venezuelan leader in the Spanish-American Wars of Independence. The constitutional capital is Sucre, while the seat of government and executive capital is La Paz. The largest city and principal industrial centre is Santa Cruz de la Sierra, with more than 3.5 million inhabitants. The country's population, estimated at 11 million, is multi-ethnic, including Amerindians, Mestizos, Europeans, Asians and Africans. Spanish is the official language of Bolivia. All legal and official documents are in Spanish. However, Bolivia has great linguistic diversity, with 36 official languages being recognised by the constitution. The main indigenous languages are Quechua, Aymara and Guarani. Bolivia's geography varies from the peaks of the Andes in the west to the eastern lowlands situated within the Amazon basin. It is bordered to the north and east by Brazil, to the southeast by Paraguay, to the south by Argentina, to the southwest by Chile and to the northwest by Peru. One third of the country is within the Andean mountain range, the longest continental mountain range in the world. Bolivia is the fifth largest country in South America and the 27th largest in the world. It is also the largest landlocked country in the Southern Hemisphere. Bolivia's climate varies drastically from one eco-region to the other, from the tropics in the eastern regions to a polar climate in the western Andes. Before Spanish colonization, the Andean region of Bolivia was part of the Inca Empire, while the northern and eastern lowlands were inhabited by independent tribes. During the Spanish colonial period, Bolivia was administered by the Royal Audiencia of Charcas. Spain built its empire in large part upon the silver that was extracted from Bolivia's mines. The Cerro Rico de Potosí, or Rich Mountain, was the greatest source of silver in the history of mankind. 80% of all the world's silver came out of this mine before the turn of the 19th century. After the first call for independence in 1809, 16 years of war followed before the establishment of the Republic. Despite being stable up until 1971, Hugo Banza led a coup d'etat which replaced the socialist government of Juan José Torres with a military dictatorship. Banza's regime cracked down on leftist and socialist opposition and other forms of dissent, resulting in the torture and deaths of a number of Bolivian citizens up until his removal in 1978. Bolivia has been governed by democratically elected governments since 1982. Eva Morales, president from 2006 to 2019, was the country's first president to come from its indigenous population. His administration focused on the implementation of leftist policies, poverty reduction, and combating the influence of the United States and multinational corporations in Bolivia. 
In November 2019, Morales resigned the presidency following three weeks of mass protests as a result of a disputed election result citing electoral fraud. Morales labelled his removal forced and a coup and was subsequently granted asylum in Mexico and later Argentina. I also made a similar video to this about Brazil, which you can watch after this one by clicking up here or down in the description below. Here are 15 crazy facts about Bolivia. 1. McDonald's doesn't exist in Bolivia. It was exiled from the nation back in 2002. 2. The notorious San Pedro prison in La Paz is famous. It is an open prison with no guards on the inside. Inmates live and work there. They even have to pay rent. Crazily, some prisoners have their family living with them inside the prison walls. 3. The clock on the National Congress building in the main square of La Paz runs backwards to remind citizens to think differently. 4. Bolivia is home to the tallest monument of Jesus. The Cristo de la Concordia in Cochabamba is 34.2 meters tall. 5. The polera skirt and bowler hat, which are worn by indigenous women, were once symbols of repression forced upon them by Spanish colonial authorities. However, today they are a symbol of pride and can be seen in every part of the country. 6. La Paz is the highest de facto capital in the world and sits at an elevation of about 6,649 meters. 7. It is believed the fetus of a dead llama can bring you luck. Visiting the witches market in La Paz allows you to browse some of the mummified llama fetuses. These are used in a good luck ritual for new homeowners where the fetus is buried under the foundation of the new house as a good luck offering to Pachamama or Mother Earth. 8. Bolivia is home to the largest indigenous population in Latin America. 55% of the nation identify as indigenous. 9. Lake Titicaca, which straddles the border of Peru and Bolivia, is the world's highest navigable lake. It sits 3,812 meters above sea level and is also South America's largest lake by volume. Titicaca is home to the Uro tribe. The Uro tribe predates the Incan civilization and they have preserved most of their unique way of living to this day. 10. Bolivia is home to the world's largest salt flats. With more than 64 million tons of salt, the Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest deposit of salt in the world. The salt flat also has 5.4 million tons of lithium. 11. There are about 140,000 Mennonites living in Bolivia in the state of Santa Cruz. Mennonites are an ethno-religious group who descended from Russia, the Netherlands and Germany in the early 1920s. They speak an East Low German dialect and are considered to be the most conservative Mennonite group in South America. 12. Bolivia is part of the 17 megadiverse nations. It has 40% of all animal and plant life on Earth and has the largest butterfly sanctuary located just outside its largest city, Santa Cruz. 13. La Paz was the first South American city to receive electricity supply. 14. The Amazon River Dolphin, also known as the Boto or Pink Dolphin, is found in Bolivia. 15. The Camino de las Yungas Road, 50 kilometers northeast of La Paz, is known as the world's most dangerous road. There are an estimated 200 to 300 fatalities every year despite it being less than 80 kilometers. Bolivia is a country that is largely unknown, but full of incredible surprises. We hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Introducing Brazil, an overview with 15 interesting facts you probably didn't know. 11. Brasilia, the country's capital, took just 41 months to build, from 1956 to 1960, and looks like an airplane from above.